Hey y'all, it's John again. Since my last video was so awfully long, I've decided that I'm going to do just a face, you know, prom and powder and blush and contour and all that, moisturizer, um, because I really want to concentrate um, for the rest of the time mainly on my eyes and my lips and probably some highlighter too, but I'm going to do highlighter today while I've got it going on so I can get everything that I really want to do um, on my face done. So, I'm going to put all the names of the products that I've used um, in the description box, but this is how I do my face. So, I'm going to start out with a uh, moisturizer. And I just recently got this out of my Sephora. Ah, I was the wrong way. Out of my Sephora uh, package that I just recently got. Um, it's Claude Daily. I feel stupid if I don't not pronouncing these things right. I should have looked it up first, but sorry. So, um, well, first before I use this, I'm going to use the Claude Daily. Um, no, I'm going to do this first. I can't remember which one goes first. <laughs> I'm being silly. Okay, this is the Claude Daily Restorial Lift Eye Lifting Balm. And what I really like it about it, it's, it's, it's expensive. I've already bought me some now. What I like about it is not only do you put it under your eyes right here, but you put it over here for crow's feet and you put it under your brow. And I feel like my, my brows are trying to sag on me already. So I'm going to do this. So we're going to go ahead and do this first. It's also a brightener from under your eye. And all you do is take a little tiny pea, if you can see that. And you put them together with your ring fingers because your ring fingers are the lightest ones to touch you. So you won't be pulling on your skin that much. So I just kind of pat it in. Make sure I have some on top. On the, under the, the brow under, um, underneath your eyebrow is not as delicate as the skin under your eyes, so it is, it's not going to hurt that much to pull a little bit. And so we'll get that in. Keep patting it up. Does it feel like it's absorbed enough? Okay. Like I said, this is also eye brightener. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got really bad dark circles under my eyes, and that's kind of how it's always been. So, okay. Now, I'm going to take the moisturizer again and like I said this is called Venusaurus which is and it's uh, called a moisturizing sorbet by Claude Ailey. I can't for, for, okay, pronounce French I'm sorry so I'm gonna just take a little bit here and it should be enough for the rest of my whole face I'm hoping it is and um, also my neck area you don't want to forget your neck area because your neck very quickly as you get older starts to want to um getting sagging and getting wrinkles so so i just put a little bit everywhere like that and then i start rubbing it in everywhere except for under my eye where i just put the eye cream on so rub it on my neck I was told a long time ago to always rub up. <laughs> Everything should be up because you don't want to help gravity in any way, <laughs> which I think is kind of a funny thing to say. Okay, so let's see. Everything up. Up, 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 up. Move that in really good. It would have helped if I used two hands, but I didn't. Okay. So. That's the eye cream, and that's the uh, Sorbet Moisturizer by Claude. There's both of them. I got both of these free samples. Well, not free. I pay for my Sephora box. But great products. I mean, seriously. You, you use them, and, you know. Okay. I'm going to let that settle for a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and put on, I know last time I said this wrong, I felt so stupid, but my e.l.f., there we go, e.l.f. Um, eyebrow 
kit and um, it looks like this and I'm going to use this dark part which is uh, like a pomade or a gel and I take the little brush that they give you and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my brows starting inside the corner and pulling it kind of shaping the brows along the brow line and you after you get this line going ah a crazy line then after you get this line going then you're gonna um after you're done pull it up into your actual eyebrow and i don't know what's wrong with me today but i can't seem to aim my eyebrow okay here we go Seriously, I'm having trouble. Okay. Okay. Now, can you see it? <laughs> it's crazy looking. <laughs> okay, at that point, at this point, you want to start sweeping upward everywhere you've drawn to kind of go up and pull it into the actual eyebrow okay you see that right now I'm going to start with my other brow Mainly, I don't want my brows to stand out a whole lot. I just feel like they frame my face. Um, I don't know how to explain that other than I feel like I have to have a stopping point or whatever on my actual eyes and face. And it uh, really does a good job of doing that. Um, some people either go darker and, you know, stronger and stuff. This is, I think this is supposed to be, this I get, is supposed to be blonde. Or light. Um, like I said in the last video, I was told by a Mary Kay lady a long time ago that if you're not um, black-headed, don't ever use anything other than blonde on your eyes because it'd be too much. Um, like I said also in my last video, right now the um, style is to have bush hair highbrow. So thanks to Brooke Shields, no, <laughs> back in the day. Um, So I get that on there, and I get it to where I think it looks good. Um, like I said also in my last video, eyebrows are sisters and not twins. So I'm going to go ahead and take now my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Okay. Like I said, anything you see it small like this came out of my Sephora, uh, my monthly Sephora box. So I'm going to take the gel and I'm going to rub it through and I'm going to kind of pull my eyebrows up like that all the way through and then I'm going to take the little bitty hairs that's there and kind of push them down. Mainly you want this in the front. This one doesn't seem to want to do it. <laughs> it's like, no, I refuse to be messed with. Okay, can you see that? I don't know. It looks um, more polished and clean. Do the same thing with this eye. Like I said, you're trying to pull up the brow. As you can see, it's crazy eyebrows go up and then you take it and you kind of lay just that part down just the part that looks like a werewolf area <laughs> lay that down okay well it's not minding me I'm gonna do it this way okay so that's done now on to my primer, which is, right now I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish. 
primer for my face. And like I said, all I'm doing today is just face. Um, so that I can devote the rest of my time on doing um, eye makeup and um, lips and highlight because that's really my forte. And I feel like I'm... When, when I do my makeup, you know, a lot of people say, why, I mean, why wear makeup, you know? And there's been a great debate about it. Um, people should wear makeup, people shouldn't, da, 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 da. But the thing about it is, to me, it's, 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 it's like an art form. Um, I feel like I'm painting on my face, just like if I was painting on a canvas. And so, I mean, I do this for me. And when it comes to the, my eyeshadows and my eye makeup, it's really... Um, going to be my main concern from now on because it takes me so long to do my eyeshadow and uh, and I'm also going to focus on my lips and probably my highlighter as well all at the same time. Um, next, I'm going to, I don't wear any foundation. Um, foundation has always felt too heavy for me and my mother always said, you know, it gave you zits and stuff when I was a kid and I never used it and never got zits and I don't have any pockmarked skin. I don't know if you can see. Um, so now, but in, in lieu of, I'm going to use this Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And it puts off, it puts off um, a kind of a sheen. And what it does is it like, how would you call it? Uh, diffuses the, uh, the areas of your face that you don't want to stick out. Uh, like for me, let's say my my under eye. So just one little pump is that much, and I've never needed any more than that. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put it toward. You're supposed to go out with it. So when you rub it, you should rub it out like your I don't know, like your nose is a ray of sunshine, and you're <laughs> doing the rays outward. Don't forget your nose. And your forehead. Like I said, everything should be up and out, like from your nose area, to make it seem brighter in the center of your face and not so much on the outer portion. I mean, you still put it on the outside, but not quite as much. Rub it all in good. This stuff goes a long way. I got this as a um, as a sample. I don't know if I got it from a Sephora or something else, but I got this as a sample. I love this stuff. In fact, it was next on my line. So you can see. Next on my list of buying, but unfortunately, well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, I got another sample of the exact same thing. And this has lasted me. I don't wear makeup a whole lot. Maybe three times a week, something like that. And that is full on makeup. And so it's lasted me mm, six months, maybe. You saw how little the pump I did. So let me go ahead and open my compact to make sure everything. Let me find how it opens. There we go. Making sure that everything's smoothed out and looks right. And it does, but we're making sure. So now I'm going to take my Hourglass Vanilla. Hourglass Vanilla. Um, concealer. Now I have been for a long time using a brush with it. And I don't know, I just got sick of using a brush. So <laughs> I'm going to put this on. Mainly under my eyes. And I take it and I draw a triangle. Now, when you do this triangle thing, once you rub it in, it'll it'll highlight the area under your eyes and make your eyes seem brighter. I'm just gonna dab it in there. I'm gonna put a line down my nose, and I'm gonna put some up here and a little bit on my chin. And that's got it, I think. <laughs> so now I'm going to take, I'm going to tap this in. 
I just have. I'm also not a fan of the Beauty Blender. I feel like thing cost it costs too much for I don't know what you you can do with your own fingers. I don't. Maybe it's good for the girls who um, you know wear a foundation, but for me, I don't feel like I need it. So I just do it with my fingers. Tap out. Pull a little bit, tap a little bit, pull just a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now, real quickly, I'm going to try to bake just a little bit under my eyes, which really I don't need to do um, when I'm not doing, uh, what do you call it? I can't think. Um, I may go, but I'm going to go ahead and do it so y'all can see how. You always do it right after you put your your um, concealer on. So it gets in, in those crevices of your under eye. I don't know what it is. It seems, I mean, it's like a we really shouldn't even worry about this stupid under eye because everybody has it. Everybody has this crazy under eye lines. And I mean everybody. Dust on my nose. Um, just like why even worry about it? <laughs> you know, you all have, everybody has it. That's just how it is. Get over it. So, what was I going to do there? Um, next I'm going to do my, put this up, ah, my, um, contour. Now, by the way, if you're wondering about my powder, it's just L'Oreal Hydra Perfect. Um, I'm sure it's a very, very light shade. I don't think it even says, but it's. Everything I wear is very light because, as you can see, I'm white as paper. Okay, this. Oh, let's see it now. Put it this way. Well, can see it. Anyway, this is NYX. Ah, let me if I do my hand like this. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. NYX. This is NYX, and it's a blush, but it it's in taupe. And I was advised by a YouTuber who is also as white as me that you could also use this as a contour. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, it took me forever to find that. I mean, it costs like three bucks, four bucks, five bucks, nothing, and it took me forever to find it. So I'm going to go in the sides of my nose. By the way, like I said last time, I don't know if you saw my last video or not, this brush is... Crooked. I don't know how it got crooked. It's just an elf brush, an elf eyeshadow brush, and it just got crooked. And but it ends up being a very good, uh, precise brush when it comes to uh, putting on the contour on my nose. Just a little brush, little contour. I also put some right here underneath my lip to make my lips appeal. Appear fuller. Right there. Okay, so that's with the little brush. Now we are on to the regular contour brush. All my brushes are just cheap, normal, nothing. I mean, I think I paid 20 bucks for these brushes online. So, I mean, you can get good brushes. You can get cheap brushes. I think they're all the same. But be sure to, wa to clean them. Um, I think I'll probably go into that at a later date, but here I go. I'm going into my divot of my chin right here, a chin, of my cheek right here, and um, pulling that up like that, and I'm going to go in my other side and do the same thing, and don't worry, I'm going to blend all this out. I kind of want to blend everything at the same time. I just feel like, what's the point in blending this and blending that? Just blend it all. Like, I might be wrong, but, hmm. But anyway, now you put some underneath your actual jawbone, and that helps you not 
Well, it helps to camouflage the double chin that I have and that a lot of people have. So it, it helps that. You want to darken that area and make it not as seen. Um, and then that's the whole point, though. You darken that area so people won't look at you at your... At that, at the negative points. Once again, it goes back to that. Like I said, with the um, with the uh, Becca backlight, you want to accentuate the positive. So you want this part to be bright, and all the negative parts kind of be dark. So you're looking at this and not the other stuff. So, okay, now I'm going to put on some bronzer, and it's just uh, like I said, most of my stuff is either drugstore. I mean, it's back and forth, but most of my stuff when it comes to my face is actually drugstore. And the rest of my stuff, like all my eyeshadows and stuff, are the expensive ones. And that's what I want to spend my money at. So, unless I come across something like the, um, the eye lifting cream I showed earlier, that's something I really want to spend some coin on. But anyway, this is a Brawn Booster. Woo! I can't see anything. I swear. Let's see. Woo! My hand's on it. A physician's formula, and it's called light to medium. And I'm going to just put the better. Let's see, this thing's got a little little thing on it. Wait a minute. Ah, how do they expect you to open a mirror on this thing? Ah, see, it's got a little mirror. And so I'm going to take that and run it right along my actual eye socket bone, I guess is what you call it, my cheekbone, right here, um, and that's to um, soften up the um, contour again, so it makes it not as harsh and brash, I just remembered I didn't put any contour on my forehead, um, I can though go ahead and put the bronzer on my forehead, which is what I did for a long time before I ever did contouring. Um, well, actual contouring, you know, like dark colors. This is still contouring, it's just bronzer contouring. Okay, all right, okay, I think I got that going on. All right, so now that we got that, now, we are going on to my blush. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and dust and dust off any uh, bake I have left. So, we won't be putting stuff on stuff that's going to come off anyway. So, if I have any bake, whoop, I think it's gone. It will come off. Okay, here is my blush. I love this brush. It is by Milani. Baked blush. It's called Luminoso number five. And everybody swears by this brush. They say it's a perfect dupe for the uh, NARS um, makeup color called Orgasm or Super Orgasm. I don't know which one, and I don't feel comfortable saying that, but it's just the truth. It is an actual color, and that's what it's called. So, anyway, so I'm going to smile. And rub it around my cheeks right here. Pull it back a little bit. You always want to put it in the apples of your cheeks. And make sure not to put too much. Of course, you can always blend it out. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. And pull it out. Okay. No. Yeah, so you can see it. But that's okay. Like I said, we're going to blend everything out. So, there goes my blush. And now, what I have left is my highlighter. Now, from now on, I'm probably going to do this when I do my makeup and everything. My regular eye makeup. Well, by the way, this is... Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. Woo! Revolution Vivid Bake Highlighter. And the color is Golden Lights. Um, like I said, I've tried to find this color. Well, not this color, but another color um, by um, Wen Wild and couldn't find it anywhere. And so I went into um, 
Ulta thinking, okay, they, they got, you know, wet and wild makeup. I love Ulta because, it, it, like me, it has the expensive stuff and the uh, not so expensive stuff, the, the drugstore stuff. Anyway, and some lady um, said, hey, try this out. It's like a, a new, I think it's new, but I know it's inexpensive highlighter, and I love it. I mean, I don't know if you can see that shine or not, but it does good. It does what it's supposed to do. I put a little bit above my eyes. I put a little bit above this one. Okay. Make sure I've got enough on both sides. Okay. I need a little bit more on this side. Uh-oh. Uh there it went. Okay. And then I'm going to put... Oh, hair in my mouth. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a whole bunch of hair. On my cupid's bow, right here, above my lips. And part of me why I get this hot lighter. Woo. There we go. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna take it and I need some more on my cubis bow. And you always put this on the cubis bow. This is also uh will highlight your, your lipstick as long right along with the um the contour that I put below it. So also I learned this trick off of YouTube to take a a dot of the highlighter and put it right where your nose ends, actually the bone, not not the cartilage, but right there for me. That's where my nose bone ends. And then you take it and you kind of rub it around. You don't want it to be too bright. So if you want to put a little bit down your nose. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and blend everything in. Even though I look still white as H-E double hockey sticks. Look very blend, it look very shiny on this side. Here we go. So we, we're blending everything. Make sure to get the side of the nose that you did. And under here, and just a little bit above the thing. All underneath your neck, where you put that double chin help up by your brow. Okay. All right. Now, everything looks good. The only thing left for me to do, like I said, this is just a, uh, just a face tutorial, um, because I take too long as it is, so I need to go ahead and get something else done. So now I'm going to set everything with some powder, and, um, and then we'll be good to go, except that I have no eye makeup on, no lipstick on, but this is what I do. Okay, make everything together good. All right, now, what was that about to say? Oh, normally I use the spray, here we go, is that it? I was gonna be lucky. No, it's not lucky. Um, I normally use a setting spray. Um, Urban Decay has one called All Nighter and D Slick and all that. And I've used those before, but right now I'm using the e.l.f. Um, setting mist. Um, I'll put that in the description at the bottom of the name of all the different products that I've used today. Um, I really appreciate y'all watching. I mean, I'm new, don't know what I'm doing, and uh, hope to get better as time goes on. But I wanted to get this done, like I said, because I want to spend more time on my eyes uh, and my lips. And, and probably will always do my highlighter at the same time as well. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I really appreciate it, and hit the like and hit subscribe if you think any of this I said makes sense. Anyway, thanks a lot. Bye.